right, welcome back. Now, still the Good Morning Niger show, and we want to appreciate everybody we done there with us till now. Yes, uh, from the top to the segment to our newspaper uh, headline review. And right now, we go straight into our first conversation with our better guest this morning. We're going to be speaking to Benga Aborowa. And we know say a lot of things they happen for America right now, the presidential uh, elections being there around the corner. So we want to know how the matter take be, how it will take concern Nigerians, how the, the change, if it happen, go affect Ninja, whether not positively or not negatively. So we speak to this better journalist, we get better information and insight on this level. Myself and Owen Sonny Gude here. And Benga go join us via Skype. Hello, Benga. How far? Hello. Hello, Benga. Good morning. Good morning, Oni. How are you? Good morning, my Good brother. Morning. How are you I do. We uh -huh. just, we, we bump. <laughs> right. So when you just they calm, hope say everything they okay for that side. <laughs> hope nothing has been looted. Uh, make we just no, ask. Nothing has been looted. <laughs> okay. But when I make we look this uh, matter for U.S. elections, everybody done already they see say momentum already they gather um, on top of the case. Um, before we go, we're going to talk about the implications of uh, who go win and things like that on Nigeria. People really they that interested on you know who go come out as winner at the end of the day for U.S. elections. Look at America. America is the biggest country. It's a superpower. So well, if America sneezed, the whole world will move. So it's very important, not just for Nigeria, but on a global scale. Everybody is interested in the elections. That's why the no two truth map for our answers matter. The whole world's attention is on US elections. Mm. I'm talking about interest. Yesterday, in I think somewhere in the East, they even had a church service, you know, America banners, the American flag, Trump mm. supporters say they pretty Trump win. Well, yeah, so the interest is is there. Mm. America is a global superpower. No, clearly. So why I ask that question? We say we already understand how America did, and then they control one of the biggest media um, for yeah. the world and whatnot. We make we really look in terms of the benefits a person feel even get from any of these people. People don't look, say, yes, uh, for Nigerian people, eye and as to how media don't really project the matter. People, they look, say, everybody will be saying, and then be Democrats, say, and then they carry Africa for mind. Others don't say, people will be saying, and then be Republicans, and then they to carry Africa for yes. mind. But then records don't also show, say, and uh, not be waiting, not be so it be. Mm -hmm. Republican or, you know, Democrat. People just say, if you look Obama time, how much Africa really gained from there? People would also talk, say, when Oga Bush been there in power, this is years ago, so make if you look at waiting yeah. Africa as a whole, even gets be even there more than waiting Democrats we, being yeah, they offer. So taking a look at Oga Donald Trump right now and uh, Marzi Joe Biden, when we say he never enter that kind of high <laughs> position, except for someone be vice president, you feel, say, some interesting policies go come out, and they don't say we feel no, 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 from the debates where we say they don't already do. From the debates where you hear, you see where they prioritize Africa or even Nigeria at all? They no, I mean, they didn't mention Africa. Africa no did their matter at all. Hmm. But from what we've seen, in the, at least we don't see first four years of Donald Trump presidency. Yes. We know, say, they all shout America first. We know he's populist. We know he's an isolationist, protectionist, and anti-immigrant policies. Mm -hmm. Now, the same Donald Trump using Mark Toxie, he would rather have immigrants from certain countries like Norway in Europe than the other country where I know if he even caught on television. You guys get what I mean. Mm -hmm. So from what we've seen so far, and I like that you went back and gave a historical perspective. Say, you know, no be automatically say Democrat for Africa. The biggest gain that Africa has got from the US presidency in the last, let's say, 20 years was under President Bush, as you rightly mentioned. Mm -hmm. it, it was under his, his, uh, his administration that they signed the Africa Growth Opportunities Act, which has helped uh, uh, a lot of businesses. Uh, so it allows Africans to export uh, duty free. Uh, to the United States of America. But what we've seen, if Biden win, mm -hmm. it will open up America. It won't be this anti immigration. They're more open minded towards, you know, and the, the type of language uh, that the whole world said, want to see. I can't speak for everybody in the world, but because of, you know, 
the fact that he leaves treaties, the Paris um, Accord, the Iranian deal, they will want a more stable person and someone they can trust. They will not play upon on policies. But see, as I said, the, the matter take be so a lot of uh, people when they talk say, okay, is it shady thing? You know they wrong for the kind policies where Donald Trump they, they try they put together because as you take talk as everybody take note say they always they put America first in everything where they talk say they won't do. And some people they talk say well it is America, it is their country. They should also be exactly. looking out for themselves first before they go talk about policies they go benefit other nations at large. So some people the way they support the, the this the Donald Trump movement also they talk say it's not they wrong to want to take secure the country and build the country stronger first before it go allow uh, um, external uh, bodies come in. But as per se where you be so as you see them you feel say this moves when they do. To the American citizens, the true American citizens, where they talk, say, that now waiting there even want. Make America better for Americans first before these whole uh, policies will go favor international bodies or external countries come through. You, you know things say that now waiting, they make Donald Trump still get some kind of edge in this whole uh, movement. I mean, good question, and they were very correct question what you just asked. But let's look at America. America is not a small country, we say, just mind your business. America has military bases all, or, all around the world. Yeah. So domestically, if they do that one to appeal to him, yeah. but if he talks, say, you know, America first, say, we don't go do this thing, we don't go do that, uh, we're, we're withdrawing funding from World Health Organization. The danger of that is, you know, the America the only superpower. They okay. will be losing influence. The Russians are there. Mm -hmm. Russia organized summit of African heads of states last year. China organized one. Even Britain, 15 heads of states were there. United Kingdom, 15 African heads of states were there. So this one where America does they do isolationism, say America first, they will lose their interest. Mm. And they, are, they, they will lose their, their, what's it called? Their influence, world influence on these other countries, and they will lose it to other superpowers, Britain, Russia, France, and uh, what have you. So they have to be very careful. And their security, their national security and business, uh, and China, yeah. their national security implications. Yeah. For example, they have an Africa company. America gets base for, at least they have like 6,000 currently stationed on the continent of Africa help in counterterrorism efforts. Mm -hmm. So if they talk, say they don't want the troop marks inside some things, or they will be on the losing end in the long run. So okay. it's good to take okay. your, tidy your home first, mm -hmm. but also they don't, mm -hmm. we don't leave no country is an island. Make, make, I, make, I tie, make I bring you something here, we say tie into the current matter where they happen at the moment. With, um, you know, with the yeah. crisis, we say they happen for country. People, they, when they call America to say, they're going to take note of leaders, we say that then they abuse their own people, no green them cross. And we understand, say, leadership is a major problem for Africa as it did today. Now, important matter you talk as about the competition when they, Russia, they won't corner, China, they won't corner. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you feel, say, really, influence go there, or Africa, you know, to benefit the real people, uh, we go f even feel they expect that one. I will tell you why they ask that question. Um, with America, we say, see, they in rivalry with China, you understand, to one put their dominance on top of the continent. Um, you feel, say, respect for human rights, policies, when go push for good leadership. You feel, say, that one will become priority as today, because we understand, say, both under um, Democrat or Republican candidates, we don't see over the years where America, they like to they stand more with the African states than with the African people. In the sense, we say, um, what are the tyrants where they empower? Mm -hmm. As long as, say, U.S. interests, they protect them. We don't see over time where they shift their loyalty, go those mm -hmm. kind of heads of states as against the people where they won't protect. Mm -hmm. So we now even say that rivalry, don't they, now with China, Russia, and other countries. You now feel, say, whoever emerge as president, go focus on states or countries where we say, go secure their stand than rather waiting those leaders they do for their own countries. Oh, you, you don't talk, the answer finished. <laughs> since 1945, since the end of the Second World War, America's foreign policy has been based on strategic interest, waiting we will gain, waiting we will gain. benefit us, yeah. and shift 
goalpost sometimes. If you look at Egypt, for example, in recent memory, the former president of Egypt, uh, Morsi, Muslim Brotherhood, uh, he was democratically elected. But America gets something from inside their law, we talk, say, if they know they support military government. Mm -hmm. Our CC came over, came, he planned a coup, his president and their strong allies. America's relationship with Egypt has not been stronger. So then they, they conveniently shift the goalposts sometimes. Hmm. The highest they can do is, you know, sanctions regime or issue warnings. Mm -hmm. But America under Trump is not even showing that uh, example of you know, democratic respect for human rights and all. For the first time in American history, President don't talk, say, if I lose election for November, I'm not sure if I will concede. Yeah. And traditionally, it's not even a question you will ask. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at interesting times, depending on who wins. But it would not change a lot for Africa going forward. Mm -hmm. It's still about that their interest first, American, interest, American business uh, and strategic national security. So, Menga, what can come be the way forward? You get yeah. when they argue to talk, say, you know what, in, make we just come out eye on top who go emerge, who no go emerge at the end of the day. People they talk, say, it better make Africa sit down, re strategize on their own. So, that whenever those crime policies come up, we go know as we go fit take yeah. plug in. What can be your take on the matter? Let me ask that question at the beginning, say, people really they yeah. interested to know who won't win, because at the end of the day, it can't be like, say, difference not today. I like that question. But at the end of the day, the way you lay your bed and the way we take lie on top of mm -hmm. make we they look, let us look for African solutions to African problems. Let's mm -hmm. look inwards. So when next time you negotiate, you negotiate from a position of strength. Nobody say just be cool. They beg. Say America, even under Trump, they've given uh they've given Nigeria over three hundred million dollars in aid, humanitarian aid because of the situation. We book around, they take scatter everything mm -hmm. this humanitarian situation. So USAID did do some programs, but we need to wake up. Nobody feel like Nigeria. Nigeria. So Not true. we need to tidy ourselves before, you know, always looking for opportunities here and there. But for the average Nigerian, they won't make Biden win because, you know, relax immigration laws. <laughs> because there's a sort of travel ban. Yeah. on Nigerians, and, you know, it would open up America to the world again, and uh, it, will, it will reverse the politics, the okay. politics of this as shown as a uh, Now, wait till, now wait till I want to talk with that, say, as the expectation be, now wait till we believe be that, because Donald Trump, they talk the opposite side, Joe Biden go one bring the opposite side to them. So yeah. now, until when he enter, now we go know whether these policies, where you talk, say, will okay. change, Go actually change. You understand? Because as we yeah. as we talk for this interview, now always about their interest first before any other thing. But as yeah, as we take look the matter, we go see whether the change will actually happen for for Nigerians because of this whole uh, immigration matter. We if we fight for that now, our major concern. People want go Yankee go de okay. But uh, because of yeah, these so policies, we did down. They say no, they happen. But wait, you, you know, honestly, right? Just before I even let you go, um, if they even they look these yeah. policies, you know, say everybody understands, say yes, you get some things say we they expect yeah. from these people. But let's like say we also need to also consider some kind of policy when we say fear also they detrimental, even as they do exchange. We're not saying blessing are under Oga Obama and then they bring this Agoa agreement. Hmm. You know, where we say um, uh, some kind of. Yeah, we say some kind of waivers day basically to encourage small businesses, businesses to bring to in move, things yes. to move from yeah, Nigeria. From Nigeria there, but yes. if you look, one country will get up say, uh, not be all gifts, the yeah, better gifts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Rwanda, mm -hmm. when Rwanda talks, say this yes. one because they are part of the business. We say they go feel allow them to they bring fairly used clothes. Mm -hmm. Now Rwanda wake up one day talk say, right. if we they collect the fairly used clothes, how we want build our own textile industry? Exactly. Can I make people they talk that thing to say we will ready you know, at all? Exactly. They shine eye before yes. you just before we it. agree on some kind of yeah. things. We, we, we be proud people now. Why would they give us a Kobe club? <laughs> or you go force us? No. Hey, but, if our, but if you, is that kind of thing? Because say we, to get what we won't collect from them, yeah. we go close eyes to, to the detriment of our own of industry. Happen, yes. So, matter they look and say, you see, say time go everly reach where we say go fish, sit down, talk, say Nigeria first. Uh, I feel Even say, though our hand is like, say, with a bed. I feel say, that's not our way. That's why I be added. Students of history, uh -huh. history doesn't lie, but 
Those revolutionaries don't last long. Mm. Thomas Sankara, one of my personal heroes, he said, he who feeds you controls you. Mm -hmm. And he made Burkina Faso self-sufficient in food production in less than five years. Mm. He did it. He said Burkinas will use their hand to toil the land and make Burkina Faso a prosperous country. So until we look inside, forget, mm. I'm not saying every country is an island, it should be an island, but tidy your country now. And I know they see as people, they use Rwanda as poster boy for, yeah. for Kagame and stuff, you know, for good government, now the yardstick for mm. Africa. Mm. And they did it themselves. Did anybody come to help Rwanda? Do you think it was by collecting it? We need to come together and fix our country. I do not think it was uh, also country. by who was going to be sitting as president at that time. Who go win, who no go win. It, well, it wasn't about that, um, yeah. at that. But thank you very much, Gwinga, uh, exactly. for your contribution. Yes, really interesting you. conversation yes, on this um, US um, presidency. And uh, who go win, who no go win at the end we of to see. the day. But I don't say we bad as in bad. See. Whoever it is go win. It is very entertaining. <laughs> because nobody they carry ballot box run. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we'll <they're> <laughs> we see. We Waiting we'll the fall up for the matter at the end of the day. Have a fantastic week, um, Oga Benga. When join us this morning. Benga, Thank you very much, yeah. journalist um, as well. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. Yes, sir.